Hi, welcome back to day four of our fruit challenge week of edible arrangements. I'm excited you're joining us today. As you can see, I'm in my beach shirt. I'm excited for the summer to get here and I'm ready to be out of quarantine. And today we're going to be making a beach scene to make our quarantine life just a little bit easier. So what we're going to be utilizing today is a blank plate. It's going to be serving as our canvas for the day. We're going to be using an orange. You can use a big orange like I am today, or you can utilize those cutie oranges that you see in the bags. All right, so feel free to gauge whatever size orange you choose to. Going to use a banana. You may need two bananas for this one. And some kiwis. And the kiwis, um, you may need two, but it may vary depending on how you decide to cut them. So let's make our beach scene. So I got my surface ready. And um, I went ahead and took my kiwi and I sliced off one end of it and I used that end to start my this removing the skin. So I removed all the brown fuzzy stuff and I, once I cut this one sliver off, I just used my thumb to scratch away the other brown skin parts, okay? And then I took it and I sliced, I'm slicing it into small parts. As you can see here, and kiwi is a little bit fragile, so that it's very breakable at some point. So you just want to take it and cut it into some thin, even slices. As always, pause the video if you need to, to catch up with me. And make sure anytime you're cutting, make sure you have a parent or guardian around to assist you if you need help cutting. Alright, now I'm going to remove my banana peels. Oh, that one broke on me. Remove my banana peel. I'm going to go ahead and do that to my other one. Now, I don't like a messy workstation, so I'm going to go ahead and take a moment and throw away anything I don't need. So I'm going to throw away my banana peel, my kiwi skin, and some other odds and ends that I have on my workstation to clean it up just a bit. So feel free to pause the video and join me in making our workstation a little bit cleaner. Much better. I feel like I have some working room to work with. And I am cutting on a cutting board. And I'm going to take my banana. And I want you to listen carefully because this part gets a little tricky. And sometimes we get carried away with cutting that we really don't listen to instructions. Okay? So we're going to take my banana. And I'm going to make some slices. Like I'm going to cut it, but I'm not going to cut it all the way through. I still want my banana to be intact where it doesn't fall apart, okay? So I made some cuts, but as you can see, it didn't go all the way through, okay? So I'm going to do that all the way to the end of my banana. The banana is going to serve as our palm tree. So I'm just making little indentions that don't go all the way through. Okay, and if you have some that fall apart like I have here, that's okay. We're going to fix it up later. So I'm going to go ahead and do my other banana. If it's got some brown spots, that's okay. It's just extra super soft. Okay. Remember not to cut all the way through. I just had a, another soft spot, so it went all the way through, but that's okay. We want to try to avoid that. Oh, I did it again. Go ahead and make our slices. And I'm going to take a moment and I'm going to move my banana to my canvas, aka my plate. All right, now I'm going to take my orange and um, I've already run it through some cold water. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to try to find a spot. I'm going to use some thumb force here. I'm going to try to peel it. This one's a little hard, so I'm just going to take and cut the top part off like so. And then now that should give me some leverage. Ah, there it goes. To peel off the skin. So I hope your, your orange is 
cooperating like mine is after I cut that little segment off. There we go, voila. Now I'm gonna clean my workstation a little bit. So I'm gonna remove all my orange peelings and toss them in the trash. If all right, I got my banana on my plate and I got them somewhat separated. So two finger, two finger pointer fingers apart from each other. And I've got some room to play with on top of my bananas and some room to play with on the bottom, okay? So I'm gonna use my orange segments that we just finished and they're gonna kind of be our sand or our waves, however you picture it to be. And if you decide to nibble, that's totally fine. My grandma says nibbling is okay if you're the be if you're the chef. All right, so I got my little sand and my waves going on. Lots of color. All right. So I'm gonna turn my plate so that you can better see my orange slices here. Okay, all right, and I'm gonna keep it this way, and now I'm gonna experiment with my kiwi slices, and these are gonna be the branches, oops, branches of our palm trees. And I may take it and cut them into smaller widths, like so, so you can see our palm trees just a little bit better. Oh, kiwi is so fresh smelling. I hope you're smelling as fresh as my kiwi is. Like I said, kiwi is very fragile. Man, we've got some creative ideas flowing. I hope you're enjoying these healthy snacks made from fruit for our fruit challenge week. I want to see what you've come up with. How is your beach scene looking? I'm sure you probably utilize some more fruits and vegetables that you have in your fridge to make it pop just a little bit more. So I want to see your beach scene. Post in our comments of your finished product. Send me an email with your finished project product at bridgepass at utk.edu or post a picture in our messenger. I can't wait to see your finished product. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us and I'm here to help you. Um, it's okay to have mistakes. As you can see, my fruit wasn't cooperating very well. I had some soft spots. My kiwi was super fragile as I was picking it up off my cutting board. And that's okay. We're just here to have fun and to have a healthy snack. So I'm going to actually take my kiwi and I'm going to enjoy it. I hope you have a good day and I'll see you next time.